KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. Hi viewers, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss 9 and 10 problems in exercise 4.2 in pair of linear equations in two variables of 10th class mathematics. Right? Yes, before doing these problems, viewers, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's go through this. Yeah. See, this is the ninth problem in exercise 4.2. Yes. A chemist has two solutions of hydrochloric acid. A chemist has two solutions of hydrochloric acid in stock. One is 50% solution and other is 80% solution. How much of each should be used to obtain 100 ml of 68% solution? Come again. A chemist has two solutions hydrochloric acid in stock. One is 50% solution and other is 80% solution. So how much of each should be used to obtain 100 ml of 68% solution? So the chemist have two solutions. One is 50% solution, hydrochloric acid 50% solution and another one is 80% solution. Right, one is 50% and another one is 80%. So, he has to mix these both, he has to mix these both and should get 68% solution, 68% solution of 100 ml, 100 ml hydrochloric acid. So, how much of each quantity should be added? How much of each quantity should be added to make it 68% solution we should find? Understood clearly? Yes, let us write solution. Yeah, let the quantity of quantity of fifty percent solution solution be x. Let the quantity of fifty percent solution be x and eighty percent solution be y. And the quantity quantity of 80% solution b y right so total how much we should add 100 ml only na? 100 ml we should get that's why so x plus y x plus y is equal to 100 x plus y is equal to 100 so think it is as equation number one right now by mixing these both solutions we should get 68 percent only now yes by mixing both the solutions it should be 68 percent solution isn't it so, by mixing both the solution, it should be 68% solution only. La. So, 50% of x, 50% of x plus 80% of y is equal to 68% of, so 100 ml only. So, that's why here 100 we should take, right? Yeah. So, 50% of x means, see 50x by 100 plus this is 80x by 100 50 by 100 into x means 50x by 100 hey 80 by 100 into y means 80 y by 100 this is 80 y by 100 is equal to this is 68 by 100 into 100 right so here on denominators 100 should be cancelled isn't it so that implies simply how can you write this one say 50x plus 80y is equal to 6800 6000 800 so that implies here which table get cancelled directly 10th ta table 5x plus 8y is equal to 680 this is equation number 2 5x plus 8y is equal to 680 here x plus y is equal to 100 so here for cancellation so multiply the equation number 1 with this coefficient so 
वन इंटू वन इंटू फाइव गिवस वन इंटू फाइव गिवस मीन दट इज फाइव इंटू एक्स विल बी फाइव एक्स प्लस फाइव इंटू वाई विल बी फाइव वाई इज ईक्वल टू फाइव इंटू हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री नाउ टू माइनस थ्री गिवस टू माइनस थ्री वाट हैपन लुक या टू माइनस थ्री गिवस टू मीन्स एस फाइव एक्स प्लस एट वाई इज ईक्वल टू सिक्स हंड्रेड एटी दिस इज फाइव एक्स प्लस फाइव वाई इज ईक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड सो सब्रैक्ट प्लस फाइव एक्स माइनस फाइव एट कैंसल एट वाई माइनस फाइव वाई एस थ्री वाई इज ईक्वल टू सिक्स एटी माइनस फाइव हंड्रेड एस वन एटी राइट वाई इज ईक्वल टू वन एटी बाई थ्री दट इज सिक्सटी y is equal to 60 so that's why the quantity of 80 percent should be add 60 ml ml only na yes here y 60 we got now substitute this in equation number 1 y is equal to 60 substitute in 1 this is x plus y is equal to 100 x plus 60 is equal to 100 So x is equal to 100 minus 60. That will be 40. X is equal to 40. So 50 percent of solution, 40 ml we should add, and 60 per 80 percent of solution, 60 ml we should add. Then it will become 68 percent of solution. Understood clearly? Yes. Therefore, the quantity of 50 percent of solution is 40 ml, and 80 percent of solution 60 ml. We should add, add to get 68 percent of solution of 100 ml have you understood clearly yes no need on next 10th problem this is the final problem in this exercise yes suppose you have rupees 12000 to invest Suppose you have rupees twelve thousand to invest. You have to invest some amount at ten percent, and the rest at twelve percent. How much should be invested at each rate? Each rate to yield twelve percent on the total amount invested. Say again. Suppose you have to invest twelve thousand rupees. You have to invest twelve thousand rupees. So you have to invest some amount. At 10 percent, and the remaining amount at 12 percent, 15 percent. So finally, you should have to get 12 percent interest. You should have to get 12 percent interest. So, how much should be invest at each? So at 10 percent and 15 percent. Understood? Here 12,000 rupees is there. We have 12,000 rupees. So we are investing 10 percent. At rate of 10 percent, some amount 10 percent and the remaining amount 15 percent. So finally, we should get 12 percent on 12,000. So here how much and here how much should be invest? We have to find, right? Yes, that is only right now. Solution. Let the amount amount to invest. Invest at rate of ten percent, ten percent B rupees X, rupees X, and uh, at the rate of fifteen percent B rupees Y, fifteen percent B rupees Y. So we have to amount uh, invest uh, some ten uh, percent rate of interest is x and fifteen percent of interest be y. So total amount how much? Yes, 
total amount is equal to yes, rupees 12,000. Isn't it? So therefore, x plus y, rupees x plus rupees y is equal to 12,000 12, or not? Yes, this is equation number one. So by the problem, so here 10%, some amount, 15%, some amount we have invested, no? Yes, according to the problem, yes, 10% interest on X plus 15% interest on Y. 10% interest on X plus 15% interest on Y is equal to, yes, 12% interest on rupees 12,000. Yes, we should get 12% on total amount now. Yes, this will be, how can you write? See, 10% means 10 by 100 into X plus 15 by 100 into Y is equal to, as yes, 12 by 100 into 12,000. Isn't it? See, on both here, total LCM is 100 only. Here on LHS, denominator is 100. Here also, denominator is 100. Both sides, 100, 100 can be cancelled now. So, the remaining part will be, this will be 10x plus 15y is equal to 12, 12 is 144, 0, 0, 0. So, 1,44,000. This is 10x plus 15y is equal to. So this is equation number 2. Here only x plus y only. Na. So that's why for simplification. So multiply equation number with this coefficient 10. So 10 on both sides. 1 into 10. 1 into 10 gives 10 into x 10x plus 10 into y 10y is equal to 10 into 12,000. 1,20,000. Is it it? This is equation number 3. Yes. Here 2 minus 3 gives. Right? 2 minus 3 gives. This is. 2 is 10x plus 15y is equal to 1,44,000. Next this is 10x plus 10y is equal to 1,20,000. Yes. Subtract change the symbols on these are plus 10x and minus 10x can be cancelled so 15y minus 10y 5y is equal to 1 lakh 44,000 1 lakh 20,000 this will be 24,000 y is equal to 24,000 by 5 yes 5 4 is 20 5 8 ja, 2 zeros so y is equal to how much we have got 4800 y means Rate of 15 by the amount which invest rate of 15 percent is equal to 48,000, 4800, 4800. So y is equal to 4800 substitute in 1. This will be x plus y is equal to 12,000 only. Na? So x plus 4800 is equal to 12,000. Yes, that implies x is equal to 12,000 minus 4,800. So, that will be 12 minus 4 is 8 minus 800, 7,200. 7,200. Is it clear? Yes, finally write down. Therefore, the amount invest at 10% is equal to, at 10% is equal to 7,200 rupees and the amount invest at 15%, at 15% is equal to rupees 4,800. So if we add these both, 12,000 will come, isn't it? So have you understood clearly? Yes, note it down.
okay viewers if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you very much